In this video, we're gonna be installing PyTorch on Windows. So this is going to be very easy, okay? So we are gonna be making a lot of videos on deep learning. So the last video was on how to install NumPy on Windows. And this is one is going to be on how to install PyTorch. So it's pretty easy, okay? So we're gonna open up the terminal again, as I mean. You guys probably know this command already, Control Shift Enter, okay? To open as admin. You guys wanna hear that sound that window makes run a command. So it's pretty much, gonna use this uh, here we can go scroll down here you guys can go to the website pytorch.org and you can scroll down here install pytorch and here you can choose which version you want to use so here we got a stable version 2.3 this is a windows platform the way we're gonna install using pip language is python and the cuda version which is 11.8 and one good thing about pytorch is that the cuda installation is already with it so you don't need to install cuda uh outside of this which uh we're on tensorflow it's pretty much a huge issue and you guys go see it when we install tensorflow on windows but that's pretty much it we're gonna copy this command uh and we're gonna paste and the installation of PyTorch should be starting soon. So you guys can see that's a pretty big file. It's a 2.6 file because it has all the CUDA dependence and that's a lot of bloatware there is in CUDA, okay? So executables that use CUDA have this problem. So I, that's why I think platforms like Onyx and DirectML are good for. But here we go. So this is pretty much installed and, and after the installation is done, we're gonna open the terminal and just run some very basic uh, PyTorch code. It's not even <laughs> some deep learning stuff, just some calling some functions to test it out. But let's see, uh, the installation should take a while, even though it's, it isn't using all my internet. It's using about 50, uh, it's right, it's not, it's right now it's about uh, 60 megabits per second, but this installation is not going to take that long, okay? Okay guys, so the installation is almost done. Let's wait a bit. Okay, so the installation of PyTorch was completed. Now let's just open another terminal, okay? And we're gonna try to call some function. Let's see here. Let's import torch. Uh, okay, torch not found. Okay, so we didn't install PyTorch. Let me see which version of Python that I have installed. 3.8, okay. But let's update. So let's run this command. Should be easy to fix this. It shouldn't be that hard. This package requires a different Python 3.8, not intro, okay. But if not, we're gonna have to change the version, okay? So it's gonna use the cached version. Let's see if that's gonna work. Because installation didn't succeed because we need to install this package. What requires a different uh, Python version. We got 3.8, not into, okay. Probably we're gonna need to update to 3.9, right? At some point, I'm gonna need to update to 3.9, and if that's the case, I should probably just update to 3.9 if we aren't able to install PyTorch on this current version of Python. I'm gonna have to update to Python 3.9. Okay, it seems that we were able to install this library after we updated pip, which was interesting because I, I didn't cut, encounter this problem before. So this is a new, <laughs> it's a new territory here, guys. But I think the installation was successful, even though we just had that problem, right? Uh, let's see here. It's probably just finishing the installation, so it should be done soon. Okay, guys, seems that the installation was done. So let's try again. Let's open the terminal. Oh, uh, let me see here. Okay, let's open CMD. Uh, we can also do a pip list to see the libraries that we got installed. Uh, but let's open Python. Let's import Torch. Okay. And we're gonna check if we got GPU available. This should be running soon. So here we can see the libraries that we have. We got Torch here, which is the 2.3 version with CUDA 11.8, which is what we wanted. And here we are importing CUDA but it didn't do that yet. Uh, so probably running some kind of code on, on the background. 
Okay, we imported CUDA, so let's say CUDA.itsTorch.CUDA is available, which is a function that returns if we have uh, a GPU, if we have Torch CUDA installed on, on our computer. And that's true. So we were able to install Torch with CUDA and, and we can now run uh, neural networks uh, models on GPU using this. So pretty much the tutorial guys, I know that we got that error that I was expecting, but we were able to get over that, which is what's pretty interesting. But thank you guys for watching and see you guys in the next one.